Oh. Okay then. Well, come back to the Witcher. Well, yesterday should have been an episode, but I was uh, learning for a test that in the end didn't happen. So yeah. New customer, come aboard. Exactly. We want what do you want? The last thing that I remember is that we wanted to go Take to, the, to other the other side. side. Yes. Time is money. Made up your mind? Yes. We do. Ready to go? Oh no, of course not. I wouldn't have paid you otherwise. Take me to town. If you would have wanted to see that scene, then please tell me and I won't skip it the next time. But I thought that there won't be that much exciting things to be seen. Who are you? Okay, don't run away. Not a moment's rest. Fine. And you? Hello, Varden! Hey! You again? They let you into town? Are you Lou Varden? I am. Let's talk. Yes. So then, can we sell you stuff? Yes. Let me give to you... Let me give to you... One stack of limestone. Okay then. Yes. How's business going? How's business? You think me a seller of turnips? I run businesses you can't even fathom. I see. You're confusing reflected stars for the night sky. I'm waiting for important news. Okay, then let's talk. Let's talk. Yes. Okay. Ciao. Farewell. So then. Interesting. The gate. Oh, it's in there. Old Vizima, beyond that gate, the country on a plague kills dozens every day. I have a feeling the quarantine's useless. Can we get in? We have unlocked another map. Small, but and in the world map, it seems like we are still missing one half of Visima, Old Visima, and probably some swamp, lake, and I would say that's mainly it. Try going to Vincent Mace and try getting some money out of him for that piece of land that we killed very hard. So, okay, this is all made of Curses. sugar here. Exactly. Curses. Hello there. What do you want? Books. We first have to read everything. We read it, we read it, we read it, we read it. Oh, okay, then. Sell so, all of you. That brings us some money back. And here we read as well. We read. 
read this one reddit 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 tool thing no. okay then let's buy it something new something new Stream contains the formula for a bomb called Dragon Stream. We have, we have, and we have a swell. Anything maybe blind pots? Maybe later? The pricey? Subterranean plants? I don't know. See that with that since we with that we have lots of stuff to do. So let's first go with Lara's gift, an elven version of Lara and Craven's legend. Lara's gift, based on an elven fairy tale. But even police and invocations didn't soften the stone hearts and the doyne. Cruel and merciless humans. And when Lara grabbed the carriage door, begging for mercy, not for herself, but for her child, the queen ordered the fuck to swing his sword, cutting her fingers off. The winter cold set in that night, and on the hill amidst woods, Lara drew her last breath while giving birth to her daughter, whom she protected with what warmth was left in her body. And even though night, winter and blizzard were all around, springtime suddenly came to the hill. Oh, finally wet flowers bloomed. To this day, the flowers are found in only two places. The valley of Dol Lathana and on the hill where Laura, Lara Doran Epshedal died. Why can't they have easy names like Sarah or I don't know? Metamo Metamorphoses and Transformations by Adalbertus Aloy Aloysius Kalkstein. We know that one. To follow the example of the sorcerer from the tower, we first need to classify substances, dividing them into superior and inferior varieties. Only the former can be described by the theory of interdependence presented here. Inferior substances do not produce a chain of quasi-life structures. For the nature is substandard in quality and they cannot exist independently. However, it has been proven that they are paradoxically essential for the gene to exist in spite of the inferiority. The hypothesis of interdependence assumes that the gene of quasi life must contain one substance of each superior element. Nonetheless, the chain structure proposed by Rafat the White, Rafat the White, ah, here you are, has one too few places for them, namely only five. If the chain were transposed and then transmuted, the problem would be easily solved. Alas, the first operation cannot be performed without damage to the chain's integrity. Only solution is use the so-called reverse transmutation, which will eventually cause the chain to rotate. As a result of rotation, all six superior substances will constantly leave and join the chain without destroying it. From the holistic point of view, there will always be six superior substances occupying five places. The ingenuity of this solution lies in the chain having, having all the qualities of the three inferior substances. Thus the paradox of in, in the interdependence or as some say coexistence is no longer a problem. 
Unfortunately, it seems none of the modern works describe how to perform how to perform previous transmutation. The problem of animating the inanimate remains unresolved. <sighs> That is a long text, so are you sure? Okay, let's go through tech that one faster. Cults and religions of the Nordlings. Stefan Keller. Among the numerous faiths of the Nordlings, the most widespread is the cult of Melitele, a goddess in three forms, young girl, major woman, and old hag. Melitele is a mother goddess, caring, caring for her children. Primarily woman pray to her, or men in need might also utter supplications. The religion is a vestige of the old matriarchy and testifies to the weakness of the Nordlings. People who worship female deities are soft-hearted and incapable of preparing their sons for war. In recent years the cult of Meditelli has found a rival in the cult of the eternal fire, which came out of Novigrad. Clerics of the internal fire demonstrate fanaticism and almost complete devotion. The religion is hostile towards any form of otherness, including non-humans. The order of the flaming rose is the cult militant arm. The treatise also examines other faiths, including the cult of the lion-head spider. Now that went fast and let's go. What would be some nice reading without insects? So, Sarah King and insects and other vermin. Marco Knopf. Sarah King, home of the venomous basilisk, has given birth to other equally hideous creatures. Among them are spotted spiders so huge that they trap elephants in their webs, with the no less terrifying tsetse flies. The flies are especially repulsive, laying their eggs in, a, in the human body. The resulting larvae maturing within the host's head. The victim's brain serves as susten sustenance. I hope I read that right. And when the larvae turns into adult flies, they leave the body through the eye sockets. Ugh, God. Now, void of the previously devoured eyes. These and other vermin are born in the far land of Serikania. Feng, thank the gods that similar filth has not infested the northern kingdoms. So then. Word is a legendary. What I want. you want? If I don't want the books anymore, they are boring. We read them. So anything. Trader? You need anything? Maybe. I don't know what we have here. Not much. Then let's see. Vincent, are you there? Yes. Hello there. How did things go at the warehouse once I left? Quickly. Good. I admit I was hoping for a bit more, but it's always a few bandits less. That's the last time you use me. I'm not a general Avenger. Had no choice, believe me. It won't happen again. You have my word. I guess you plan to continue the investigation. Don't have a choice. I can't help officially, but I'll leave you to it. Anything you learn, I'd be glad to hear. Okay. Well, we killed the Arcus. I killed the Arcus boy in the swamp. I have proof. What the hell is this? Huh. The hideous things that roam this earth. That's 400 Oren's reward. Okay, let's talk about Salamandra. I wanted to talk to you about Salamandra. Okay. Someone informed them about my cockatrice contract. What are you suggesting? Oh, the professor? The professor. After you released him. I got no time. End of conversation. You let the professor out of prison. His bail was paid. That's the law. 
Okay, the law is law. I get it. Observe the law at all costs. What do you do, knights? Meet your boss? Azar Javed? Nothing unnatural about spending nights in the trade quarter. Okay. I see. I've got no real proof, so I'll have to wait to decide. Sounds like your mountain has turned into a molehill. That's what happens when amateurs try their hand at serious work. If you stumble upon any real leads, come by. I'll give you some useful advice. Okay. I don't know what that was for, but... Do you need the doctor long? This hospital garden demands a caring hand. You seem to like what you do. Like it? I love plants and know them well. I spent my life dealing in bloodshed. Now's my chance for peace and quiet. Bloodshed? It's no point of pride, but I long earned my living as a mercenary. Those times are behind me now, and here I am content. Okay. There's a I'm here about the notice. You look like a warrior. Care to kill Echinops for me? Certainly. Bring their thorns as proof. Okay, you not. I know that we have to hand in one. We need to go left, left, straight, and. Left and straight. Left and... Who are you? Are you the one Siegfried spoke of? Siegfried, the knight from the sewers? It is you! That cockatrice troubled us for ages. I heard it was a hard fight. She was young and fell quickly. What's your business? Are you a trader? Will you sell me your wares? Siegfried's friends are always welcome. If you want to buy something, speak to my apprentice. I handle forging and special orders. Bye. Okay. So, we'll talk to you later. We have to hand in so that at least we do something. And aren't just running around reading books and stuff. Not that it's not sensible, but... Something more sensible than sensible. Will it be pine or oak, perhaps? An entire crypt? Let's see, five miles wide. What are you talking about? Why would you come to a grave digger? So I ask you, who will you be burying? Fear not, my prices are reasonable. I'm here for another reason. You should plan ahead. Very well. What is it you want? Well, we have the doctor. Hear about the notice. Yes. So six jugs. I have six jugs of dog's lard. I use the lard on the caskets. <laughs> Here's your payment. And the cemetery is closed. Why is the cemetery shut? Because the dead refuse to rest in peace. Fear not, they stay in their graves in sunlight. Someone should tend to them, though. Perhaps someone will offer a reward, but for now, no one seems bothered. Okay... Well, we can deal with that for money. I'll deal with it when you agree to pay me. For now, farewell. Think putting a dead body to rest is easy? Do what you will. Perhaps the watch captain will reward you. Won't hurt to check. What do you need? You can give you a present. I don't know what. Can we get in now? No. Oh, of course not. So then. Now let's see if we can sell some secret. Geralt, I was wondering if you'd care to join the Order. Uh... Okay... 
save. How about other witches? Not today. Heard of any witcher jobs? You mean beasts to capture or kill? The Order of the Flaming Rose manages well in that respect. However... However? However, recent happenings have engaged all our forces, and we received a request. Monsters threatened the boat landing in the swamp. Sounds like witcher's work. Anyone willing to pay to have it done? Not the Order, certainly. Inquire with merchants in Vizima. A wealthy man named Luvardan signed the request. Well, that's nice. So let's thank you, man. Siegfried. I'll give it a try. Oh, okay then. And why didn't she told us beforehand? Let's... So then, I would say let's end that episode for here and. Let's see what we can do in the next episode then, so I hope it was somehow enjoyable for today. See you next time!